Hi everyone and welcome to part 19 of the Sands of Time. Now uh, uh, we've just got John back from China, or well, the day before actually. Um, he's had something to eat and a, a, a sleep and uh, now he's on the, um, he, we need to get him up a skill point for his athletic, he's right down there so I might put that on fast in a minute. Um, and we also need to get him a handiness skill point so he's got quite a way to go on that as well so i have to take him to the library um that would be the easiest thing to do i think get him to read a book um and he's got the day off today so he can hopefully get these skill points today um, as we've just brought him back from china uh, we've got two days before we can take him away again what i'd really like to do is take him to france because we've not been there yet. What's this? Grow a potato vine. Um, can't do any growing, gardening or anything at the moment because it's snowing. Um, obviously, if we had a, a greenhouse, we could. Let's pop this on fast for the minute and um, get him this skill point. Right, he's, I've just changed one of his wants to this uh, workout for four hours straight. Uh, but he really does need to take a shower before we can continue with this. He's nearly there. It takes quite a while actually to get this, get this skill point. And his social's going down as well, so it might be a good idea. Get him to call someone. That's his, who's this? Parker Landreth, he's just an acquaintance. There's his boss. Let's uh, chat with her for the moment, just to get his social up. Put that on fast. And we're popping back on here. And that was the push self, wasn't it? Uh, you can really increase your fitness and athletics skill. Norlish. Oh, we've got a sim fest. I don't really want to bother oh. with that. We've got, um, I assume we've got something going on in the park, haven't we? Because it's, uh, it's snowflake day on the Thursday. Might bring him here, actually. We can do some skating. <laughs> and, um, We've got that snowboarding thing as well. Let's, uh, just want to get him these <laughs> skill points so he gets a raise when he goes back to work on, on the Wednesday, I suppose, isn't it? He goes back to work on the Wednesday. Now, he came back last night, which would have been Monday night, Monday, Tuesday. So he could go abroad again, I think. Wednesday night. Come on, get on with it. Ooh. Bang that back on fast. Cool. <laughs> now he's right up to level nine. Let's pop him back in the shower. What's this? Old oh, master to the athletic skill. What was this one? find a hidden door well I'm sure that will come up again it's this one that's only 350 but he's nearly there let's get rid of find a hidden door for the moment put that on master athletic all right uh, congratulations John has improved his athletic skill to level nine what's that is that a horse there Yes, <laughs> two of them. Uh, we could take him out, couldn't we, for something to eat, although it's a lot quicker. Well, we'll take him out. Because I can always put that on fast as well. It might fill him up a bit more if we go to um, uh, eat here alone keeps on having things like cereal and bread and jam and this dried food and what have you. Oh, 
as that incense. Ah, false. <laughs> His energy is going down as well. It's taken him like half a day to do that skill point. Aurora. Ustak. That's um I've um, lost my bearings, there it is. Let's go to the library. So he's, he hasn't got a lot of energy left there. It's a shame we can't get him something. Actually, it might be a good idea to go to the um, Elixirs or Elestia, Ale or whatever it's called. Elixirs and what have you. To see if we can get a potion. Um, where are we? Handiness Volume 3. There we go. Doubt if we'll be able to get him another skill point at the minute. What time does he go to work? 7 a.m. So he gets picked up at 6, doesn't he? So he's going to have to go to bed early-ish. Right, pop that on fast for the minute. Right, I really did push him there. <laughs> his energy is really down. Um, right, congratulations. John has just improved his handiness skill to level 7. John can now give upgrades to televisions and other objects to make them a little better. Okay, let's take him home. Mm. Didn't get him to go to the uh, uh, ski slope thing, did we? But then we've got plenty of time. Um, tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, at least they're all. Hopefully, he'll get a rise. But none of that's been filled up. I'd have thought that would have started filling up as he got his, his uh, skills up, but never mind. Right, so if he's um, going to get picked up at six, he needs to be up at four, really. His hygiene's not too bad, but by the time he gets up in the morning, he'll need something to eat. So we need to give him time for that. Maybe after work tomorrow, then we can uh, visit the uh, Elixir place, see what they've got. Actually, what I can do, if we let him eat an apple for now. And that'll stave off that hunger. A little bit. Where is it? There we are. No, it's not. There it is. <laughs> well, that, at least that filled him up a bit. Okay, so he is slightly over, but I wanted to get his energy full up. A uh, carpool for John will come in about an hour. So what we could do, we could get him to eat another apple rather than mess about with um, getting breakfast. Out 
actually now let's get in some dried sage that'll fill him up more won't it it's got plenty of that somewhere what's that one so that's a low quality one we'll give him eat one of those for now might need him to have two oh that's not too bad that's filled him up a bit uh, what have we got? Ten minutes. Let's shove him on the telly then. Oh. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't really get a chance to, did we? Time goes pretty quick, really. He's only got another 13 hours, and we can take him away again. Right, what we got here then? Uh, work hard. Goof off at the post exchange. That's relaxing. Hang out with fellow soldiers. Suck up to superior. Oh, let's hang out with fellow soldiers. Oh, shall we? No, suck up to superior. We'll do that. Right. A few of the scientists down at the science facility have been observing some of John Linden's various skills. Oh, okay. They want him to have a position, job level seven. Um, no, we'll keep our job. Right, I changed the board breaking thing to earn a promotion because it looked like he was going to get a promotion there. And that's a thousand as opposed to 250. I've also paid the bills because he hadn't paid his bills. Right, we've now got, we've only got six hours. And then we can go abroad again. So, what's his. Um, uh, Where's his skills? Oh, he's all right with his skills, isn't he? Okay. Right, he needs some fun. Let's get him something to eat for the minute. Uh, have a quick meal. Well, actually, let's take him out. Could have done that first, couldn't we? We could take him to the park. We can get food in the park. Might be uh, something different let's go to the park should have done that first and also oh that's nice <laughs> snow on the ground nice little added feature there I never noticed that before that's what happens isn't it in real life when you come in from outside you stamp your feet on the on the carpet and you get snow everywhere. I'm getting some fun here as well, I think. Right. Where's the... Uh Okay, buy food. <laughs> Lachi. Kanji <laughs> Haladobo. <laughs> Uh -huh. Abu Bam Bunai Zanga Yala Jablan. Reba Wabu. Mm. Open day. Right, we got clam chowder, coffee, egg milk, uh, French fries, fruit punch, gingerbread cookie, hamburger, hot chocolate, hot cider. Sounds nice. Uh, hot dogs, hot wings, nachos, onion rings, pie, soda, tofu dog. Should we get him a pie? 
good pie. <laughs> So let's take a greeting card picture. I don't want to get rid of these things. He's nearly got that, which is 350 points. Earn a promotion. We won't do that until he goes back to a master athletic skill is 5,000. And that one, he's nearly done that, which would be 7,500. Oh, he's got 11,029. What else was it we wanted? We can go up to, right, uh, efficient influencer, change lifetime wish, all weather champion, I can't remember what it, oh, opportunistic, what is that? Ah, earn greater rewards and bonuses for finishing opportunities. That might be a good thing to do then, because um, he does a lot of opportunities, doesn't he? Have a look at his other things. Oh, prepared traveller. Travel parties with a prepared traveller in the group can stay in locations longer. Well, we can do that anyway as we get our visa points up. Um, immune to heat, immune to cold. I think it'd be a good idea to do, let's see what ones we, um, oh, we've got a young again page in there. <laughs> there was one where you can find, I see it, collection helper, 40,000. But I don't think that really, he doesn't really need that at the moment. Let's do the opportunistic one. Then hopefully he'll get more, he'll get more money. Where is it? Yeah, because he'll, he'll earn greater rewards and bonuses for finishing opportunities. Let's grab that one. Um, he needs some fun, doesn't he? Let's pop him on here. Snowboard. Oh, I think building a snowman makes you gives you a lot of fun as well. <laughs> or do you have to wait for the other person to finish? Okay. So there's only one person at a time on here then. Looks big enough for a couple of people, doesn't it? Oh, it's because they go over both sides. Oh, okay. Yeah, so only one person at a time then. Is that a skill? Um, let's get him to make a snowman. We had a little bit of fun there, but I, I, I'm sure if I remember right, making a, building a snowman puts your fun skill up quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be going up faster. Oh, he's only got three hours. And we can go again. I'd really like to go to France. What's this? I'll build a snowman. It's only 200, though. What's this one? Oh, that's 350. And maybe we should just get rid of that then. As soon as he's, yeah, I'll do that. And we've got a spare slot then. We can uh, get him a greeting card picture. which I think is there, isn't it? Yeah, take greeting card, sorry, Ty. Oh, that's nice. 
<laughs> Classic snowman. We should get some points for this as well. Show it on the wall. <laughs> What's this one? Buy an exercise machine worth at least a thousand. Well, that's one two fifty. We could do that. Um, you'll have to take it home first. How much energy we've got? Can we go? Or oh, we've got two hours before we can go abroad again. Um, what else can we do here? Go ice skating. Um, we can have a snowball fight. Let's go ice skating. Oh, that's athletic, is it? Because it came up with the football-y thing. Oh, it doesn't do it now because I've already told him to do it. Yeah, he is learning skill. I thought they did. I thought the snowboarding one was as well. A bit faster then. Oh, he's getting chilly. Let's take him home then in the warm. <laughs> and we'll buy this athletic thing. And then I think what we'll do, we'll take him to France. Um, yeah, because we're all right now. If we take him to France. Um, that'll be something completely different then, won't it? We can start the new adventure there. Is this exercise machine worth what? At least a thousand. Okay. I imagine it's that muscle thing. Let's have a look. Oh, he's still got his work gear on, his uniform. <laughs> um, we need to buy. Uh, sort by function. It's all very, ah, oh, here we are, is it? Entertainment. Uh, our exercise queen is 1,500. What's this? Power burn station. That's 1,650. Well, he's got enough. Does that do the same thing as the other one then? That's a pumping thing. What's this one? Oh, that does the same thing, but it's cheaper. Oh, let's get him a decent one, shall we? What's this one? Fit Zord. Oh, that's posh, isn't it? Conditioning apparatus by Corbin Computing. Yeah, it looks really state-of-the-art thing, doesn't it? We've got, we've got blue and green, we've got red. And we've got blue and green again. But it's a different blue and green, this hat. Oh, four. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, let's get him that one. <laughs> That's uh, actually what we'll do. Pop it in his bedroom, can we? Yeah, shove it there. 
we've still got seven and a half thousand yes and that gives him those points what else have we got on here he wanted to collect more festival tickets don't matter about that what's this do a snowboard trick how much was that 50 <laughs> and that's all okay i will get rid of those and get rid of that one um yeah we'll just take him to france then let's get him changed into his uh change outfit every day so how much points we got two eight one seven well we'll end up getting more anyway won't we soon so, um, where is it smartphone real estate travel services uh, travel there we go now bearing in mind we've not been to france before so we can only stay for three days but i think it will be cheaper because <laughs> he's got love. like a travel thing on him so that's shang simla so we can actually stay for eight days now there which is 1550 it's not too bad is it and then egypt we can stay for five which is 1750 and then france where we haven't been yet that's 1650 to three days so we'll do that so what does it say then champs le sims france offers the cultural elite some of the finer things in life sims can learn the fine culinary art of nectar making or flash over with a camera to learn the photography skill. This beautiful country town is sure to please the senses and invigorate the soul. Okay then, let's go to France. Shame we didn't want to go there really, but never mind. Right, let's, um, oops. I don't know if we can lock a door. Let's see if we can grab, grab a bedroom. There's a bathroom there. That one's nearest the door by the looks of it. Um, it's got a mirror in there. Oh, he's got a dresser there as well. And a chair to sit on. Can we, let's uh, pop that up for a minute. Can we lock this door? No, we can't. Okay, we'll just have to take. Oh, good, I'm glad his energy's right up again. Um, we'll just have to uh, grab what we can, unless, of course, we, uh, we don't really want a, like a dormitory thing. Let's uh, check for adventures then. Cool. A trivial affair. I am looking for a daring soul who is willing to provide some assistance for an ample reward. If you are willing, please report to me, Laurent Durand. Okay then. What was this? Visit the nectary. Oh yes, we'll do that. Uh, opportunities. There we go. Report in. Can't hear his motorbike. Oh, that's him, is it? <laughs> it's Lord. Uh, 
Gypsy Moon. Mm -hmm. Nib Krim. Zart. Zart Aduni. Right, John has earned five medium quality dried food and 20 visa points. Jolly good. Uh, Celtic Foray. Ah, thank you for coming. Are you prepared? I need you to do a bit of underground exploration for me. You should never go adventuring without the proper supplies, though. I have already given you some dried food, essential for staying nourished while you explore the depths of any tomb. In addition, you should always bring a tent with you. As it happens, my humble store sells both tents and dried food, so you should peruse my wares. Uh, when we are done speaking, well, we're all right for that. Oh, we've got more. <laughs> Uh, now to your mission. I need you to head up to the old Celtic ruins and retrieve something I lost. Oh, that's the same as the Egyptian one, wasn't it? The first one we done. Uh, while exploring there several days ago. I dropped it in a hole in the floor and didn't realise until I was halfway home. You will know when you find it. Now go. I eagerly await your victorious return. OK, so we travel to the Celtic ruins up the road and behind the neck tree. Uh, perhaps we can pop in the net tree as well, if I, if I remember. Uh, enter the ruins and find Laurent Durand's missing object in a hole in the floor. Then return it to Laurent Durand. Okay, then. What's this? Find relic worth a thousand simoleons. That's four thousand. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that one and put that one in then. Ha. <laughs> okay. Celtic ruins. Ah, there it is. Visit Forgotten Burial Mound. Still can't hear his motorbike. I remember this one. There's quite a bit to do on this one, I think. At least most of the ways on motorbike here. Aha. Where are you going? <laughs> right, use the stairs. There you go. What's that? Oh, it's a rock. We'll leave that for a minute. Let's use the stairs. Mm -hmm. What's this? Find a hidden door. That's 400. Uh, that's 4,000. 7,500. That's 5,000. Earn a promotion is 1,000. What's that? That's 400. He's not going to earn a promotion just yet, is he? Um, what is that? Find a hidden door. I'm going to get rid of that. I know it's 1,000. But he's more likely to find a hidden door than get a promotion at the minute. I don't want to get rid of those because um, they're quite high. I don't think there's anything. What's this? I'll we'll collect that. That's obviously a hidden door there. Oh, there's nothing in that thing, is there? Let's um, clear that then. Oh, that's titanium, valued at 1,116. Inspect that. Oh, oh no. Jungle lovers. Oh, how cool is that? Ah, ah. Here he is. Yes. <laughs> Right. 
Right. I'm going to have to stand on that then. Let's um, just have a look, make sure there are no tracks or anything. Stand on there. It's obviously going to unlock that door, isn't it? Yeah. Go through there. Oh, gold coins. I'll just check the floor first. Seems like we're okay. And the walls. <laughs> okay. Grab those. And stand on there. Clear that as well. Hopefully this will unlock the door. What's that? Oh, money bag. things there to bash out. What's that? Oh, that's going to be a door, isn't it? Oh, okay. So you're probably trying to find a keystone here somewhere. It's probably going to be in a treasure chest or something. Alright. Well, let's uh, inspect there first. Discovered the seat. Oh, it's doing it now. Cool. What do we have? Oh, <laughs> he didn't get out, did he? <laughs> oh, so it's just what's that? I'll collect that anyway. And then we'll clear that. Opal worth an impressive 613. So we'll clear that one as well. What's there? Oh. It's like another money bag. Hopefully it's be a treasure chest with that keystone in there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Take heart keystone. Oh, that was silver. Right, insert keystone. Obviously, we can move one of these then. Can move, yeah, we can move that one. 
That's the only one, so we'll pull that one out. Push that. What's that? Oh, oh got a bottle of wine. Oh, so, let's open that. What does it say? 1,814 years old. Meloir grapes, plasma fruit nectar. Oh, well, so I will um, collect that one while we're at it. And uh, we'll go through door. Ah. Right. Looks like the main room, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably stairs going down there. There's a thing there. Let's just check for traps. I think we'll be all right. If I remember right. Grab those coins and I'll have a look in there. You can move that, you can move that, okay. So let's um, push that one. Aha, uh -huh. that opens that a door there, so it doesn't have to go all the way around again. So let's push again. Where's that going? Ah, okay. Let's, uh, whoops. Circles here, push that. Hopefully, that'll open that, those stairs then. Uh, push again. Aha! Uh -huh. Stalled again. There we go. <laughs> right. Well, I'll leave you on a cliffhanger. <laughs> so I'm going to end this episode here. And uh, uh, next time we'll carry on our search for uh, Laurent Duran's mysterious object. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment in the section below and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, and you'll be notified of the next um, uh, thrilling <laughs> um, or exciting adventure of the sands of time so uh, join me next time and uh, thanks again for watching bye bye <laughs>